Hello and welcome back to another tutorial video. In this particular video, we are going to look at how to submit the content of this form and the content will get sent to your email. Okay. And the tool that we are going to use here is form speed. So basically when you have your form, you have the content of that form being submitted to some kind of backend program or backend application that is going to process those, uh, that is going to process the form and then, um, keep the content of that form but when you don't have it, an api already existing where you are going to submit your form one thing to do is to use form speak okay so that's the tool that we are going to use to create this form or not not to create the form but to kind of handle the form submissions in this case okay so that will basically handle all the backend uh, work for us and just handle the processing of the form and then you don't have any much to do so this is a form i'll leave a link in the description to this particular form you can um, use it or redesign it if you want to but if you have your own form all you have to do is kind of follow the video and you'll be able to convert that to work with form spray okay so the first thing you have to do is to head to your google or any uh, browser at all and just type in form spray and then from the very first search content you can open up form spray okay um it, that's kind of the platform that we are going to use to process the forms and as you can see the form solution for any developer at all there are so many of them but today we are looking at form spray okay to get started there's a sample code that's if you want to practice with your code and then you can for the as for ds is just email and that of uh submit email but you can the form can go as much as this just as we have okay so what we are going to do is first of all sign up for an account okay but they have documentations that you can read so if you look at the resources you can go ahead and look at the guides and all of the libraries but this will just take a few minutes to read or read other blogs that they have okay but for me in this video we are just going to sign into an account and then i'll walk you through how to set up that account and connect it with your applications or your code now if you don't have an account go ahead and get started by signing up for an account for me it's very simple your email and your password and then you are good to go okay so i'm going to sign into my account and then we'll meet in the user interface okay so once you have successfully signed up as you can see my username is right here the next thing is to create a project or create that form now the way this platform works is you can have several forms being submitted from different places and then they will all get sent to you and whatever the project that you create for that particular form it will be sent in that order so this form was sent to your email um, through this particular project or this particular form okay so once you are signed up the next thing you are going to do is to create that form now when you create the form if we went through the interface every form will get an endpoint and that's what there is basically like an api a url to an api that gets uh, that gets your form submitted and then form speed and then form speed processes the rest of the form so what we're going to do is go ahead and click new or add new and then you can create your form okay so you put in a name for that particular form i have added here that form youtube okay and the project is under the forms project so you can see i have one project here if you don't have any project if you click on new you can select a, a new project okay and then um, that will be sent to the email you use during the sign up so you need to use an email you will be visiting regularly if you if it is a form you want to monitor over time okay because this would be on your website or your client's website it depends on how you are doing the setup okay so you have your project and then the email that this form will be sent to once you're done go ahead and click on create form and now this form gets created okay and once the form is created you get an endpoint that you will be adding to your code so very soon we'll copy this form url and then add it to our code and run and then submit a form so that i can check my email and then you see what is available on our email after submission okay yes yeah, so this is a basic sample you can read it this is an html template every form will have an action and uh, a method of post because you are sending that the content of that form to your api and then the actions tab is where you 
paste the url for that particular form and that's basically it okay so you just go to the actions tab of your form or the actions attributes that's been passed to the form and then paste the url okay yes but more importantly let's let's take a look at the settings so when you have submissions you can come and check them here they'll all be listed here and it does handle from uh, spams really well so um you wouldn't get spammed but if you come to the settings of the form that's what is even more important because depending on the settings you either get spammed or not sp spammed okay so let's scroll down um we have your target email you can remove it and change and then you can see here we have the templates and then the redirect and um if you have to but to add a redirect you need to be signed up for an upgraded version it's like a pro but what i'm doing here is just on how to use it for free okay now this one thing you need to know that machine learning spams filtering that can scan submission for spam before they reach your inbox that's very important and but for some way to check bots you can add recapture okay this will allow them to kind of select images on your google and some of you are even familiar with the google recapture that we usually use okay so go ahead and enable this particular feature and then once you are done um this the settings have been updated okay depending on the project and the, your plan for forms pre you can go ahead and change the settings of the form shield okay so um, for form shield is automatically enabled for the form but if you want to add even more settings then it depends on the plan so you need to upgrade to do that but for this video you should be fine just by the regular settings that we have done here so now that we are done with this form aspect okay let's return to the integrations aspect and then what we are going to do is to copy this onto our clipboard okay so you are just copying the form url and then um, once we submit so we are going to add that to our code soon and then once we submit we are going to um, get this form details being sent to our email and then we'll check that out all right so once you have copied your forms endpoints now what we are going to do is to integrate that code that we copied into our form okay so this is the basic form that we are looking at currently and if you want you can go ahead and check the link in the description to download this form you can customize it for your personal use okay now what is important is for every form there's an action attribute and a method okay and usually for a form that you are submitting some content is a post method and then the action here is where you are going to paste in the url to the form okay or that form spree and uh, that form spree endpoint that we copied earlier okay now if you don't know where to find that if you scroll down once you've created a form just go ahead and click on it on the overview page scroll to the bottom and you have your form uh, your form endpoint just go ahead and copy that okay now once you have done once you have copied that you can go ahead and paste it okay so pass in case your form doesn't have this action attribute just pass if an action attribute to the form and paste the link okay now once that is done one Thing that you need to know it notice that um, for every form input it should have the id which is uh, for the label should be name and the id should be equal to name and then you can also add a name attribute equal to the label for that particular form okay and as you can see here we have exactly the same for email we have a type of email id equal to email and a name attribute passed that is equal to email now the for the text message that's the text area we have the id equal to message just as we passed the label for message and the id equals to message the name is also equal to message okay so make sure you try and do that as well now for the button here the type is submit and once you pass the type of submit to a button that will work automatically okay now for you to be able to check the rules that govern how form spree work just go ahead and check the this particular sample here there's a label for email which requests your email and then the id is equal to email okay so that's very important and a type of email all right so once that is done we've added this information or we've added the form endpoint into our code you can go ahead and save it i'm using live server so that has been updated on my form interface here now what we are going to do is run the form and then see how it works okay 
So first of all, just put in your name. And then your email, we'll call it test at gmail.com. And then we'll put in a subject of tutorial. Okay, so you can put in the message. Um, we'll just put in form tutorial in this case. Okay, form tutorial, just like that. And I'm going to submit. Okay, now you realize that we went through for, um, Google recapture or recapture enabling. So the form will, will you automatically be redirected to enter this section which is to check that you are not a robot and then um, you select the pictures right here for cars okay and i think that's all for the cars we will go ahead and verify okay now you have successfully verified and your form should be submitted all right and then you get a link to go back to your your form okay and so this is how it will work on your site anybody submitting a form will basically go through the process and once they click on go back they will be redirected back to the exact domain okay now once that is done you can go ahead and then we'll log into our email and see um the form okay and right here we have our form brief submission okay so you can see title tutorial and then it just say you have received some new submissions i'll go ahead and open that and once it opens you see the form here the name is equal to david the email and the tutorial okay so that's how it works you will be receiving the forms in this format or the inputs of those forms in this format okay now if you want a much more structured approach i did a video where i showed you how to submit um, newsletter details using google form you can try that one out as well but if we return to our form speed page okay let me just sign in You realize that now we have one submission and if you go to our submissions tab we can see the exact content that was submitted okay so it's been arranged in a tabular form or tabular form you have your email the message that was sent and the person that sent it okay yeah so that's how you can use forms free for free um, for submitting form data from any website that you want to do all right i hope you enjoyed the video this is the end of the tutorial for forms free i hope you enjoyed it if you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and do enjoy the rest of your day.